Stoke-on-Trent City Council were keen to start the regeneration of Stoke Town itself. It was a desire to incorporate low carbon technologies at the early stages of the project. There was a fixed budget which the client had got and they'd got some big aspirations. The design remit was to provide an iconic building to the centre of Stoke that redeveloped the area, uh, redeveloped the existing Victorian square with the clock tower and, and fish market buildings. And we thought it was important to respect those buildings and the quality of that architecture by making a simplistic building that fitted within and around the existing buildings. The building brought together all of the council's services in one single storey site right in the heart of Stoke. The interior needed five distinct areas, an open plan and services delivery area, a library, training and conference facilities, and an administration area. We've got uh, previous projects which have achieved uh, BRIAM excellent requirements. Um, this one was a particular challenge because it was a, a refurbishment building. We'd utilised individual technologies before, but the particular challenge on this project was getting all those together into a confined space. As part of the low carbon design, the team utilised the flat roof for energy efficiency and renewable technologies, wind towers for natural ventilation, sun tubes for natural light, solar thermal panels for hot water, photovoltaic panels to generate electricity, rainwater harvesting, and ground source heat pumps. 16 boreholes were drilled to a depth of 90 meters, which would link to three ground source heat pump units in a closed loop system. These provide underfloor heating to the building. After they completed the 16th borehole and they were doing the testing, they discovered that one of the boreholes was blocked. So then they had to bring all the equipment back and re-drill another borehole adjacent. But because it was in the external works and not within the building, it didn't delay overall completion. We felt it was important to locate the plant room for the ground source heat pump in the heart of the scheme and where better place to incorporate it within, than within the historic clock tower, um, being the sort of heart and the workings of the building. The building relies on passive design to reduce the amount of energy needed for heating and lighting. The large glass frontage is south-facing to benefit from natural daylight throughout the year, and deep overhangs provide shading from sun in summer to prevent overheating. The coloured glass of the library area diffuses light and eliminates glare, while the high ceilings allow air circulation. The building is naturally ventilated and uses a combination of openable windows and roof-mounted wind catchers to distribute fresh air to the deeper areas. Sun tubes provide natural daylight and additional lighting is provided by low-energy bulbs, which are controlled by occupancy sensors. The benefit of utilising sun tubes is that it enables us to get good natural daylight deep into a space. This enables, with the intelligent light control that we've got, to reduce the amount of artificial lighting required, therefore reducing energy. Being a low carbon building, it did affect the way we looked at the design and how we incorporated the technologies to make them aesthetically pleasing. The light well is a great example of design development. We'd identified that particular part of the space was going to be dark and a little bit dingy. By introducing a roof light above enabled us to get a pool of natural daylight and make it warm and welcoming. It's anticipated that over 12 months we should make considerable savings in our electricity bill. The BRIAM Excellent Award enables us to demonstrate to our clients that we can integrate sustainability throughout all our projects. Significant savings are expected. As built, the building's carbon emissions are predicted to be 51% better than the standard required by current building regulations. One of the advantages of having a number of technologies on this particular project and the extensive metering and monitoring devices we've got, we're going to have real-time data that can enable us to see what the real benefits of utilising this technology. That will be invaluable for other projects.
We're hoping that other councils will take forward these technologies and use them on their own building. Carbon Trust helps us in a number of ways in the technology development and how we could incorporate it within the design. People are quite impressed with the building. We get asked lots of questions about the technologies. Can we come and see the photovoltaic panels? Can we see the solar thermal panels? We've got a sedum roof. I've been up and had a look at it and there were lots of bees when I went up and looked. It's nice, yeah. yeah. New, but it's pretty new. cool. Yeah, it is, yeah. This has got sort of a wonderful openness to it and sort of the light levels are really nice. The design is superb. I absolutely love it. I think it's a wonderful building. I wish my house was like it. I've really enjoyed working on the project. I think it's proved to be very interesting and, and a good learning curve. It did work. It was very much a team effort um, and it was on budget as well.